Big things are happening, guys. We're giving away the 17 Golf R that we bought wrecked at a salvage auction, and we're gonna show you the whole rebuild process. And believe it or not, you don't have to spend a dollar. You don't have to buy entries. You, have, you don't have to donate anything. All you gotta do is watch our videos and make sure you smash the subscribe button. That's not it. We're gonna be doing a ton of other giveaways. We're gonna show you how we did it, where we did it, and how you can do the same. Are you excited? Let's go! Hey guys, what's up? Big Pete here. So we're gonna buy this thing at IAI, which is IAI. I, that's what all the Russians say, is I, I, but it's actually IAAI.com. Yeah, it's insurance auto auction. So. so tell them the difference between the major two major auctions. Well, there's Coport uh, and IA. These two are the most popular ones. There's a lot of different smaller auctions out there, but I use pretty much IAA and Coport. Uh, IAA is mostly uh, insurance insurance cars. You won't really find any uh, any dealer resales or you know cars that have some issues. Copart, there's a lot of funky stuff. You'll find some cars that've been bought. People so you'll, you'll actually find cars that people bought, tried to repair, or actually do that on purpose, and then throw them back in the auction to kind of hide the excessive damage. Yeah, some people do that stuff. Um, we'll go a little bit more into that with that a little later. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, you know, a lot of times uh, dealers when they can't sell their stuff. The car can have like a transmission issue or whatever, they can sell them a copper too. So you have to be really careful what you're buying. You have so to the cool thing with IA is, is you're buying a straight up written off car from yeah. an auction. So you, I yeah. mean from a, from an insurance. Yeah, so once you go uh, in the vehicle information, IA, you'll see, uh, well, you'll, you'll, it'll say which insurance company is selling it. So mm -hmm. you're gonna see if it's insurance company, what insurance company is. So that's the nice thing about IA. Um, and we'll be jumping into that right in, in a second because it's literally it's about to go live We're gonna show you how it's all done um, And the cool thing is you can do this literally from anywhere any coffee shop your house and a car You've been doing this on vacation the whole time. Yeah, yeah Okay, put the video started and then back um, so Pete like just tell me honestly from at your experience right now Like how how quickly do you rebuild? I mean obviously it all depends but like what's this quickest and what's the you know the longest it took you to rebuild a car as long as the car it all depends on the damage but if you buy something with a real light you know light damage it, there's cars that you can rebuild from like 48 hours you know you rebuild cars for 48 hours i've had yeah i've had cars that i build them in 48 hours that's insane that's insane all yeah. right guys so let's jump straight into it where we don't want to miss this thing because it's about to go live so i just installed a screen recorder uh let's test it out and uh you'll be right here with us bidding on this golf r all right guys here's that golf r we're talking about beauty's right here and this is the auction website iaai.com which is exclusively insurance cars which means um you're not gonna find any private sales here right uh very rarely yeah okay so explain just uh, who, like how do you register what do you gotta have and then we'll jump straight into the bidding um uh, you gotta have obviously your at least class two dealer's license and uh all the stuff that will come with all the insurances and stuff but yeah, you gotta start with a dealer's license, and then you'll be able to register. All right. So we're right here. We're registered. We found the car. Just walk us through the process. What, what do you, you know, what do you look out for? What do you see here? Um, and then let's, let's so, start bidding. So, so with this car, uh, one of the biggest reasons why we chose this car, because uh, this car, you can see, there's a lot of uh, uh, estimated repair costs. Is a lot. It's pretty big. Twenty two thousand. But it's big because the, there's a lot of uh, body parts that you know that that, that have damage. Um, a lot of a lot of times you'll see a car hit in the one spot, and it, it's gonna look like it has a really small uh, damages, but there's gonna be something underneath, probably like rails or mm -hmm. like a lot of different stuff can be, uh, you know, engine can be damaged, stuff like that. With this car, there's a lot of body parts missing, a lot of parts body parts damaged. Almost the whole car needs to be resprayed. You see all the all the marks. Um, so that's why it has that. Uh, so pretty. That, that's the insurance that estimated cost of repair, right? That's yeah, so, the reason it got written off. Yeah. So the car went to a to a professional body shop, and they estimated it at this mm -hmm. at this cost. That's where the car got written off. Okay. And that's pretty much the whole idea of these uh, salvage cars. That's that's yeah. how we buy them for so cheap. Yeah. And okay. uh, if you look through the pictures, um, it doesn't it doesn't look like it has any any uh, damage to rails or frames. Um, it all looks like easy stuff. Uh, and again, guys, we'll be walking you through the whole process of bidding to buying, delivering. All you got to do is subscribe and you get a chance to win this golf right here. Yep. And we'll teach you how to rebuild the sucker. All right. So uh, 
Let's see here. Um, what, what do we see here? So we got the damage. So it's a 2017 Golf R. It's got 35,000 miles on it. Um, any other features? It is an uh, automatic transmission. It's all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive. It's blue. I, I mean, I like this blue right here. I think that's because we were looking at some other ones. This, this one really stood out. And it's kind of close to us, so that's cool. Awesome. All right, so let's try, let's what bid live, right? And number 18's going. So if you if you look right here up top, uh, there's a little yellow tag. That's it shows you how many cars your your car that's on your watch list. That's when it's going. So uh, our car's coming up pretty soon. It's gonna be I think it was number 47. Yeah, it's right here. So it's gonna be about uh, 15 20 minutes. And yeah, perfect. All right, we'll probably skip to that part. All right, guys, 45th. We're about two cars away. Um, so this is how it works right here. This is 95 point being so <laughs> look at that 200 bucks. Yeah, two hundred dollars. But anyways, charge. make sure you guys get this uh, uh, this auction thing, the live bidding, open up ahead of time. Always give yourself plenty of time because some cars just go super quick. All right, we're up next, guys. It's gonna be exciting. Yes. Cheap cars like these usually junkyards buy just to uh, have for parts. And see the, the why I say earlier. Go 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 go! Let's do these it. These cars go so much faster. We're just gonna bid uh, the crap out of this thing because we just gotta buy it. So it was out of bid. Uh, somebody's bidding live now. Odessa. That somebody in Ukraine. Oh snap! On site. This is insane. Somebody crushing. Yeah, we wanted more because this is a lot more important to us. This is this is our. Oh snap! We weren't uh, expecting it for it to go this high. Here we go. We're gonna buy it. <sighs> Making me real nervous. We got it. Bam! 11,000. This is guys. live. This is how we bought it. 11K. Man of the hour right here. He got it. Yeah, we got it. So um, we just want to show you um, what kind of deal we got. We bought the car for 11. With fees and everything, we gotta, we're got we going to pay about right here. We'll show it to you. Um, with fees and everything, let me show it to you. So you go to one one, uh, one vehicles. And uh, so we got to pay $11,798. Uh, that's with fees, taxes, everything included. Um, we just want to show you uh, an idea how much actually they cost. Clean titles. So clean titles go for like 35. We have less miles than ours. But 31,000, 28, 29. Um, and I believe, I, I think we can build uh, that goal far. Uh, probably somewhere around 15,000. And we'll be 15, sharing 000. everything with you guys. What's yeah, we're going to share in, the yeah. whole process. Um, right now we have to find somebody to bring it. You can go pick it up yourself if you really, if, if you got nothing to do. Uh, you can rent a U-Haul. You can. Um, I mean, if you're doing it for yourself, a lot of people just have a trailer and they'll just. Yeah, always... a lot of people. Yeah, they just want to have fun. They want to see the car. They're excited. For me, you know, it's a lot faster, better. I save a lot of time and I think money too, just by subbing it out to somebody so, else. So what? What? Do you, so what are we doing? How do? How are we getting it transported? Well, I, I have a lot of connections now, so I have a lot of people in different states. So I just make phone calls and, and they'll bring it over, or I'll just put in central dispatch. And, and what is central dispatch for those that aren't familiar? That's that's, that's for all the all the cars. Uh, everybody's using to move cars around. So you just pretty much you list your uh, location where it needs to be picked up. Where it needs to be picked up, where it's going. And these truckers, they the bid on it, or you set the? How does it work? They just go. They just find the car, and they they'll, they'll call you. And you know, if if they're happy, if they're okay with the price, mm -hmm. um, they'll go. And how soon? And when are we trying to get this thing? So we bought if it. If I list it today, hopefully I can get a get it in by Monday. Awesome. All right, this is it. So the car is here, we're excited, it's a nice car, just the way we saw it. But anyway, before we jump into it, we want to tell you a little bit about ourselves. All right, let's go inside the car, man, I'm freezing. Woo! Man, it's cold out there. Yeah, it's in bro. All right. 
So guys, uh, we got this idea in Florida, actually. Uh, both of our families, we went on vacation. And, uh, well, you tell them about your body, uh, body work, how you started. Let's show them the video clip, how everything began. Oh yeah, here's proof how it all started. Beautiful Florida, out here in Sarasota. This is where that deal was born, salvage giveaway. Big Pete is here. What's up, guys? He's doing what he does best in Copar. So tell me what's going on right now. We're trying to buy this uh, 2019 Subaru Outback Limited. It's on pure sale. That means we buy it. If if you win the car, you get to keep it right away. You fix it, you sell it, make the money. Pure More sale. What's the other car. thing called? Uh, so there's a reserve and uh, approval. So reserve, it'll show you if you meet the reserve price or approval. That's insurance company if they want to approve it or not. So from the moment you win that car um, to the moment it gets delivered to your shop, how long does that take? It can be from 15 minutes to a couple of days. Depends how fast you find the, the guy to deliver it. Awesome. All right, guys, stay tuned. Salvage giveaway out here in Florida. And as you can see, there's two types of people. Those that use Windows Bam. and those that use Macs. Okay. Um, so well, tell you a little bit about my myself. Sorry. Yeah. So I'll tell a little bit of myself. Uh, so I started the whole thing doing body work when I was in my, I don't know, I was like 13, 14 years old. I always wanted to work on the cars. That was my... It was in your immigrant blood. That's what it was. No, it just, I love cars. So I um, started doing some body work and, and then, bought, you know, my first car was 350Z. Um, I sold that car, made some money. I sold it to this Asian dude that came from, uh, I think he came out of Boston. It's about like 60, 70 miles away from us. He actually bought the car and 15 minutes later, I received a call. The guy told us the car. <laughs> That's a funny story. That's uh, funny because um, actually the way I met you or at least met the business that you do, the body. So my wife, well, my girlfriend at that time, we were driving my, my parents' Honda Civic. I think it was like a 2002. Oh, yeah, that was already rebuilt, salvage title Honda Civic. And she scraped the whole side by on the highway, the guardrails that, that are on the side. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, so I called Pete. I'm like, because I'm freaking out. My dad's going to kill me. So in the middle of the night, or like at night, you start the work fixing the whole side. I think it was two doors and a fender or something. Yeah, it was just uh, scratches and stuff. We had to do some uh, I remember some you were work thing in. And like, but anyways, um, the funny thing is we had to make it look. You tried so hard, but we had to make it look bad so my parents don't don't run because trust me Ukrainian yeah and parents, I can't do bad you work obviously <laughs> you know we gotta make it look so all my work looks yeah good. the thing is we have to make it look bad so that was fine and then the worst part about it my brother I think halfway through the process yeah what comes in the middle of the garage. process <laughs> so yeah. that was a fail but that's when I knew that you're you're the man for this job when it comes to body shops when it comes to body work when it comes to selfish cars um and it's funny that how many years was that like, that's like almost 10 years yeah, it was about like eight years ago, I think. And here we are on this vacation, and we got this idea. Well, you wanted to, your work. Tell them a little bit about. Yeah, so I always wanted to show my skill set because I uh, actually I'm a dropout. I dropped out from school, um, and I had to learn. Wait, we're trying to educate our viewers about rebuilding salvage cars, and you're a dropout. Hey, it is what it is, but. I, I take the experience over uh, Hold on, education. I wouldn't think this. I'm joking, guys. But the funny thing is th that's that's the proof right there that you really um you can make something out of yourself if you just put your work to it. You're you're a dropout. You have a successful business right now. You're in your 20s. You started this. When when was it when you flipped your first car? I was about 16 years old. And that's the fun. That's the cool part about this whole thing. I think we're doing it as a hobby, but. You realistically can learn the whole industry. You can start your own business rebuilding cars. You can do it on the side. At the very least, you can do it for yourself and save a bunch of money by buying a salvage car. Yeah, and the easiest way to learn is you buy your first car and uh, you just, w once you build your first car, you learn a lot of stuff. Um, you pretty much, you will learn how just to like do with everything. Just like with anything, yeah. Yeah. But I, I, the cool thing about our channel, I, I feel like, is I, I mean, we were thinking of ideas, how to draw attention, how to, you know, get people involved. And we came up with this whole giveaway stuff, seeing so many people doing giveaways. Except with us, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to buy merch and get entries. We're sponsoring this whole thing. Yeah, we want you guys to just enjoy our stuff, the process. 
we want to we, obviously we're going to enjoy building it and um we, wanna we, keep... we want you pretty much to be as involved in this as we are we yeah. want your ideas we want you to be even about ourselves be brutally honest if you don't if you find me annoying or him or whoever tell us to do less of this or more of that whatever you want to see we'll we'll show everything we'll we'll show you how much we're buying the cars from how we're buying the cars what expenses are involved with the whole process you know what legal stuff is going on with the business uh, you know side of the whole thing and um just you know anything else you you have to that's that's part of this whole thing just drop it in comments tell us yeah and um okay you can you'll cut it out yeah now. we'll cut it out it's <laughs> my fault cut out all right so back to that so yeah the craziest thing so anyways we got this um we got the idea to start off with the golf or the GTI actually. GTI, yeah, we we'll Googled it. It was funny. <laughs> we went Google and we found what well, was not the funny, it's data. Data worked. Yeah. I'm I do marketing. So so to me, that's funny. I, I'm actually I started off with as a very what unsuccessful Yeah, let me see it. But anyways, I started off as a very unsuccessful videographer doing weddings. Um I I think I did okay, it's just I started overbooking a lot and then I got problems with clients. But anyways, I'm a, with the whole business stuff, I learned stuff the hard way, you know, trials and errors. And it's funny that now I'm in the salvage industry through a, through a company that I run now. Um, and this whole thing, anyways, with the giveaways, we, we, we want you to pretty much build a car. Yeah, we want you guys to be involved in like, uh, you know, custom stuff like uh, what wheels you guys want. Or you want the wheels painted or you want to wrap on the car, what color wrap. Uh, you know, just little stuff would matter. Like if you want any different color seat belts or whatever, like small details, we want you guys to be involved. We want you guys to have as much fun as we do, you know? Except we don't know much about YouTube, how it works, besides that if you get subscribers and stuff, you make money. Yeah. I mean, secretly we're trying to get really big and get like millions of subscribers and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Why are you laughing? Oh, okay. <laughs> But um, hey, I just built cars. So it, it's kind of up to you guys to help, you know, make this work. As far we're gonna be on social media, we'll be on Instagram, Facebook, you know, all the platforms. So help us out, be engaged, um, share your thoughts, share it with your friends, share the channel. Um, and you know, we don't want to bore you too much because we're still getting used to this whole video stuff and vlogging or whatever else you want to call it. Yeah. Anyway, and let so um, so yeah, so we did buy. Uh, uh, Golf, but we didn't go with the Golf. We went Golf R. Well, I think it's GTI. When we get we get a GTI, we got the Golf R because top of the line because we want the best for you guys. Yeah. So what's the first thing that happens when we buy a salvage car? So you bring the car in or the car gets delivered. Whatever you guys, everybody is different. I usually sub all the all that stuff out. You do too much with your hands. Like, um, put it down <laughs> like me. Like natural, you know, they okay. like natural. So. Okay. All right, like this. Yeah. Anyway, so um, the car comes in, bring it inside the shop, make sure you take all the stuff out of the car because a lot of times there's going to be a lot of good parts inside the car. Um, clips, blabbering too much. Let's let's go out to the golf and just show it how it's done. Let's go. Let's get it done. All right. Back to the shop. I think slid in the front, so it has some rear damage and damage in the front. It's gonna need some work right here. Um, the rear end didn't really surprise me. That is what I was expecting. Um, in the front, it has a little bit more work, a little more than I was expecting. Um, this radiator support got pushed in, and I think I think the radiator tabs, all this, all this stuff right here, I think it's gonna be all broken. So we're gonna have to disassemble everything and see exactly what's wrong with it. Um, but it looks good for now. I'm really excited. I'm happy this headlight's good. I think it's good. But again, we have to take it off, see if all the tabs, uh, all the tabs and whatever is good, you know? Um, let's show yeah, them yeah, the yeah. interior. All right, let's check it out. I love interiors. It's my specialty right here. 
Well, right off the bat, we got two airbags deployed. We're gonna have to fix those. Seatbelts are probably locked. Yep, so uh, seatbelts lock up during an accident. Uh, there's a pyrotechnic device in them. So you usually gotta replace or repair those. Can you um, change the colors or no? Yeah, yeah, we actually got a service. We'll talk about that once we're down the road. Uh, we have a business that works on seatbelts and airbag modules and things like that. Um, let's look at the trunk, a lot of, yeah, so, when they do appraisals, they put a bunch of parts inside a lot of times. What do we got here, Pete? Yeah, so we have a lot of optional parts. We're gonna have to go through them. There's a lot of stuff. There's an old headlight in there. A lot of bolts and clips and screws. This is nice. I really love when people do actually put all the stuff inside the car. So, and then I love going through the stuff and see what's good, what's not. And what uh, about the paint? What would you say as far as bundle uh, work or parts? The paint right is off gonna the need, bat. It's gonna need almost a full respray because of, of all that. I see a bunch of little chips, things. Um, so probably gonna give almost you know we were the full, expecting yeah, that full too, respray because right? the, the door got to be bland and whatnot you know. Um, all right, all right. So um, would you say there's more damage than we expected or less or right about a little bit the front end? Obviously, yeah. I think front end a little more damage than I was expecting. Okay, so let's give it an SG score. One being the lowest, it's fire damage can be repaired. Ten being the best, easiest job in the world. Just got to put a bumper on. What will we uh, score this? We'll probably about 5.6, just because of this radiator, whatnot here. You know, it's gonna need a little bit more work right here. But guys, we love this. You know, more damage, better for us, and more fun. You know. Bro, what are you doing inside there? You getting used I to like the car? It, man. I like it. I hey, like don't it. get used to it. This car's for our viewers, bro. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. We want you to give us as much feedback as possible. We may be new, uh, new to YouTube. We're not new to the salvage industry, so we appreciate all the support, sharing, Instagram, Facebook, you name it. Next video, we'll go into depth with parts, where we get the parts, how much they cost. We'll get into the whole process. But honestly, guys, we'd appreciate it if you love what we do and this whole rebuild process, salvage cars in general. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned.